Today's video is about protein energy wasting, what it is, and how to fix it in, when this happens in chronic kidney disease. Thanks for watching. I'm Robert Galarowitz. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Okay, kidneys are my life, my passion. I don't think a minute goes by in the day that I don't think about kidneys and my kidneys, everybody's kidneys and what we can do. So let's get in and talk about it. All right, so protein energy wasting, okay, what it is, and it happens in chronic kidney disease, is it becomes a derangement in your nutrients. So you don't absorb your nutrients like you're supposed to, and it can lead to being fatigued. It can lead to the acceleration of the kidney disease, acceleration of complications, heart issues, so many, so many things, plus a decreased quality of life, so, so you don't feel good. So uh, with protein energy wasting, you know, make sure you're diagnosed. We're going to talk about some research, talk about what you can do. Now, as far as this goes, there is no effective modern conventional medicine treatment for this. Okay, so you can look it up. There's no effective treatment. Okay, there's nothing that they're gonna that they can do. They tell you to eat more protein, but then that's terrible for your kidneys, and that actually makes the problem worse of protein energy wasting, because now you have uh, you're stressing your kidneys out further with all this excess protein. Now you got the toxins of the protein. So we're going to talk about how to fix it. So this piece of research I want to reference is from the Journal of Nephrology, April 2023. Gut microbiota disturbances and protein energy wasting, chronic kidney disease, a narrative review. Talk about P, uh, protein energy wasting, what it is. And here's what I want to mention. Okay, it is a complex syndrome in which inflammation and retention of uremic toxins are two main factors. We have a few factors involved in this, but those two are really important. So if you're diagnosed with protein energy waste, there's a couple things you're going to do. What you want to do because you want to improve this. You want to feel better. And by improving this, you're improving your kidney health. So um, generally, you're going to be low in protein. Even if you're eating protein, your albumin is going to be lower on your blood test. Meaning it's going to be below four. All right. Now to improve that, your doctors and most people are going to tell you to eat more protein, eat more protein because it's the only thing they know to try to help it. Okay? They don't know any other way. So if you do that, you're going to make your situation worse. What you want to do is either keep the protein intake you have or restrict it a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit, maybe 20 grams a day. But you need to get protein in so you can get that protein through essential amino acids. Or what's preferred is keto analogs of essential amino acids. Okay, that's a way to get protein without stressing your kidneys, without getting a bunch of metabolic toxins. We have other videos that talk about this. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview. If you want to look further, you can look at all those individual topics. Okay, so second, okay, you got your, um, you're taking care of the protein issue. All right. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting all your proper nutrients. So I do recommend a multivitamin. All right, knowing that the inflammation is one of the big problems, you want to reduce inflammation. Okay, no good conventional medicine ways to reduce it without lots of side effects. If you have options, use them. But here's what you can do naturally. Vitamin E, okay, one pill twice a day. We'll talk about these in other videos. You can take omega-3, okay, high dose of that EPA, DHA, curcumin, all right, preferably a really high absorption, 1,500 milligrams per day. Uh, you can take CoQ10, another one. You can take cordyceps, CoQ10, 200 milligrams. Cordyceps can be upwards of 2,000 milligrams a day. You gotta pick at least three to four of these to do. If, you, if you're thinking that you're gonna correct this by taking one pill of vitamin E, it's, it's just not gonna work. If conventional medicine has no treatments, not one little, two little pills or something isn't gonna work, but it will work if you take a few different things. And everything I'm talking about here is in other videos where I cite the research that shows that how to lower the inflammation and kidney disease, so you can take a look at those. So now you got the inflammation component taken care of, you got your protein component taken care of. Okay, you wanna get the multivitamin, all right? A good multivitamin, even some basic thing over the counter is fine, just to complete your spectrum of nutrients, okay? You can't utilize all that protein if you're lacking in some nutrients along the way. If you're lacking in some B, some C, some zinc, it's not gonna work as well. Okay, so you got your multivitamin, your inflammation is taken care of. You want to take care of those uremic toxins, all those toxins that are building up in your body, and building up in your gut, and there is no effective conventional medicine way to treat this. Luckily, we got wonderful natural things, probiotics, prebiotics, lots of soluble fiber, lots of probiotics. We're going to clean up all those uremic toxins. So that's how you want to address protein energy wasting. It's generally in a later stage of kidney disease. The good thing is by doing some diet modifications, okay, if you need help, see a professional, watch other videos, get some uh, proper good books. Also taking the supplements I recommended, um, I think that about covers it, okay, that's protein energy wasting in a nutshell. Thanks for watching everybody, do everything you can to improve your kidney health because you don't want to go to dialysis, you don't want one of these, okay. 
If it happens, it happens, and you can still have a really good quality of life on dialysis by following a lot of things that I talk about here. To your best kidney health, everybody.